Hi, welcome back to the program on Bojang Valley. I am Dr. V. Nadarajan, your host. We are going into episode 3 to look at the artifacts of Bujang Valley which are found in the Archaeology Museum at Marbo. And also we are going to have a look at the Trans Peninsular Trade Route which connected Bujang Valley to Lankasuka on the East Coast. Welcome to the program. This is the Lamba Bojang Archaeology Museum in Marubok, Kedah. It was built in 1978 when all the Chandis were reconstructed from 1974 to 1978. The artifacts, items, archaeological things were put in this museum. And uh, some of the items are in the National Museum in Kuala Lumpur and some even in Singapore Museum. And it was built in 1978 and opened to the public. Now, let's go inside. This is a Chola lintel brought from the Chola kingdom from Tamilagam in South India. And these are all pillar bases with different shapes. This is triangular, the other is square, some are round. These are for wooden structures built on top of the pillar bases. The top was wood. And that is why the top of all the Chandis have perished. So we have only the base of the Chandis left. Just like in Padang Lavas in Sumatra. This is unique to Padang Lavas, Sumatra and Bujang Valley. And some of the Chandis are round and decorated. For example, this base is decorated and uh, just like all the other chandis and uh, all the chandis have pillar base in Bojang Valley. Now this is a yoni and this is a soma sutra the lingam is placed here, the Hindu god, and when they bathe it, the water runs down through the Samasutra out of the Chandi, where there's a nozzle, and the Hindus take it as holy water or holy milk. And there are plenty of Chandis in almost all the Chandis of Bojang Valley, the Hindu Chandis, and it was Sivalingam in most places. Or it was Mahisasura Mardini, the goddess Durga, wife of Shiva. So Saivism was the basic religion of the Hindus of Bojang Valley. This is called Prahu Sagor. These are traditional Malay boats cut out of one whole tree as one log. And these boats were for internal transportation along all the rivers. These boats are dug out along the Sungai Murubo, Muda River and the Katil River. 
and these brought in all the goods from the interior, the jungle produce and the interior products to Bujang Valley Center to be shipped overseas. And these were the sub-transportation vehicles in the traditional times from the 3rd century AD. This is called Raja Bersiong Flagstaff, but it is not. It is a pedestal for a statue. It is intricately carved and it's made of sandstone. And uh, it must be a big statue because the pedestal is a big one. This is called Singa Mukha. This Singa Mukha is made of stone, granite, and it is uh, for the staircase, head of a staircase, uh, for the chandis or for houses. And uh, this was found at uh, Pangalan Bujang. And uh, this is common in Bujang Valley and also in Java. These are utensils, huge utensils made of stone. And these are actually made of granite for grinding sugar cane. And this is a threshold for a temple. And all these are for grinding rice in the ancient times. Sebenarnya di museum ini kita telah mengumpulkan beberapa artefak ataupun tinggalan-tinggalan purba yang kita jumpai semasa kerja-kerja eskawasi semenjak tahun 1930 pendam sehinggalah awal tahun 2000. Jadi di sini di Museum Ekologi Lembah Bujan apa yang kita dapat kumpulkan adalah sebahagian daripada koleksi-koleksi yang kita jumpai semasa kerja-kerja eskawasi dahulu. Jadi di sini kita dapat perhatikan sebahagiannya adalah berbentuk arca Hindu Buddha dan juga uh, porselin, tembikai, seramik dan sebagainya. Besarlah harapan saya supaya uh, mereka yang berada di luar sana supaya datang berkunjung ke Museum Ekologi Lembah Bujan untuk melihat sendiri khazanah negara kita yang telah kita jumpai semasa kerja-kerja askawasi dahulu sekitar tahun 1920-an sehingga awal tahun 2000. Jadi uh, di sinilah uh, letaknya sejarah uh, peradaban uh, kita dahulu ataupun di sini juga dikenali dengan panggilan Lembah Bujan ataupun Kedah Tua yang telah pun bertapak seawal abad yang kedua sehingga abad yang ke-14 Masih. Jadi di sini juga kita dapat perhatikan pelbagai artifak dan juga koleksi yang kami pamerkan di museum ini untuk tatapan semua. Jadi uh, bersalah harapan saya supaya uh, mereka yang berada di luar sana untuk sama-sama kita berkunjung di museum Lembah Bujan ini untuk kita merasai sendiri ataupun melihat dengan kepala mata kita sendiri inilah sebahagian daripada khazanah negara yang patut kita ketahui dan kita sedari betapa pentingnya khazanah ini untuk generasi kita pada masa yang akan datang. This monument behind was discovered in 2009 by University of Science Malaysia and the Heritage Department of Malaysia. Together, they dug up the whole area. And this structure is supposed to be a ritual structure. But now it is proven that similar structures are in Sri Gaya in Sri Lanka and the Gandra civilization in Pakistan near Peshawar. And, uh, this structure is made of stone and it dates back to 110 AD. This is a jetty. Numerous jetties like this were found at Sungai Batu to export the iron by boats 
to the ships in the Murubok River from where it was exported. So, Pujang Valley was not only an entry port, but also a very important iron manufacturing place. This is the Murubok River, the heartland of Bojang Valley. The traders came here and exchanged their goods, and uh, also the goods from the interior came through the tributaries, and this was a great entry port for the whole of Southeast Asia. Indian, Chinese, Arabs, Javanese, Burmese traders came here. And uh, there was also a trans-peninsular trade route connecting Bojang Valley, which is known as Kadaram, to Lankasuka, which is in Patani. There was a land route through the Murubok, through the Sungai Trus, through the Muda River, right up to the mountains and across to Minam, Patani, and to Lankasuka. That was a trans-peninsular trade route which cut four and a half months of journey around the peninsula. This program on Bujang Valley is on the ancient history of Malaysia, yet unknown to most Malaysians. Come and visit Bujang Valley to know and understand the history of the lost kingdom of Kada. I am Dr. V. Narajan. Thank you very much for watching.